Hello, this quick video shows how to access FreeQMS's included validation script. We already know how this conversation goes. FreeQMS has free modules, right? There's no way validations can be included too. Well, as we're about to see, the aspiring FreeQMS administrator has all the tools available to prove doubters wrong. Let's access FreeQMS's included validations. Begin by logging into FreeQMS. Validations aren't hard to find. There's a large convenient validations icon on the home screen, as well as on the left-hand menu. Please note the validations icon is only available to company administrators. We'll click the main validations icon. Welcome to the FreeQMS Validation and Documentation Center. Let's take a moment to discuss our options. On top, we have User Executable Validation Protocols. There are Microsoft Word format protocols that an administrator can download and execute. Let's download the supplier's module protocol by clicking the download button. The download button redirects the user directly to a Google Docs document stored on the web. This document can be viewed by any FreeQMS user, but cannot be edited. To use this validation protocol within your quality management system, click the File button in the upper left. Select Download, and then Microsoft Word. Let's open the document in Word. FreeQMS provides initial qualification and operational qualification or IQOQ style validations for each module. Module shared features and FDA 21 CFR Part 11 for each annual release year. This Word file is a 37 page document you can edit and maybe even improve per your company's validation expectations. Every company should start, as the document recommends, in the upper right by entering your own company document name and title. Each FreeQMS validation protocol is color-coded to its corresponding module. We can see here the supplier validation protocol is color-coded brown. Executing FreeQMS validations is an involved subject, which will be covered more in upcoming videos. For now, let's jump back to FreeQMS and take a look at our executed validation protocols and reports. Here are FreeQMS's internally executed validation protocols and reports. Given the extremely low cost of entry to FreeQMS, we feel these are the validation documents that will be relevant to most users. Each year, as part of preparing annual features for release and readying new executable validation scripts, FreeQMS performs its own validation of system features using the user scripts. Let's click Download in line with the Audits Module Protocol. Once again, the document opens in Google Drive. This is a PDF instead of a Google Sheet. Let's download the protocol using the download icon in the upper right corner. Now let's open the protocol in Acrobat, FreeQMS's preferred PDF viewer, although any should work. The first page of FreeQMS validation is a one-page report signed by FreeQMS's lead designer, signifying the validation protocol is performed as expected. You'll notice that all signatures in this document are in physical blue pen per FDA Good Documentation Practices, or GDP for short. If we scroll to page 2 and 3, we can see who reviewed and approved this protocol internally at FreeQMS. If we scroll to page 7 of the protocol, or page 8 of this PDF, we can start to see documentation as to the success of the first test. Each test requires the user print their name, give their title and organization, sign, and date. If we scroll to the first test attachment, test 1.2, we can see that each test attachment appears after the last page of the test it corresponds to per the protocol's instructions, and includes a test number, printed name, signature, and date. 
Let's go back to FreeQMS. As new FreeQMS modules become available, protocols and their internally executed counterparts will become available on this page. Every company must determine whether it is acceptable to present our internally executed validation studies or to execute their own copies based on risk. These validations are living documents that are updated each year with a new version signified by the annual release of FreeQMS. If you find any error or have comments on the validations, please contact support at freeqms.com.